guys so i think there are five major problems for people who have a problem with those who are newly married torn marriage counselors so um, you must know something i'm not a marriage counselor i've never counseled a couple before or those in relationships have never told them what to do or what not to do i'm simply a storyteller who is interested in telling his stories and who is interested in talking about his experiences. Huh? That said, I think there are five, five, no five, five major problems for those who have a problem with married people and relationship. Number one, they are not in any serious relationship at all. And so the content of marriage counseling doesn't make any sense to them. It doesn't resonate with them. Hmm? That's one. Two, they have a special disgust for marriage as an institution. Most often this comes from their broken family or maybe broken marriage. I don't know. But they just hate marriage. Disgust. So, relationship stuff, uh, marriage stuff, online or offline, doesn't make any sense to them. Three, they have never been abused, cheated on, neglected, or suffer any kind of ignominy whatsoever. Okay, so hence they don't see the need to be helped by people's experiences. Uh, they don't read books, they don't listen to podcasts, social media posts, you know, reason about the subject, they don't bloody care. Or even if they do read, they read it with the eyes of uh, judging, you know. Then number four, they have destroyed relationships or marriages. You know, imagine a little girl or a little boy um, sleeping around with someone who is married, for instance, and then you come online and you see something like, something that talks about marriage, you're like, oh. I just bang someone who's married. So what are these guys talking about? <laughs> you know, so you don't take the matter serious. It's just a joke to you. Alright? So number five. These ones are not planning to get married. I tell you, they are not planning to get married. Or they are not trying to work on their relationships. You know. And um, they, they, they don't have any relationship. Their relationship is absent. And because of that, they are not planning to work towards it. Alright? So, well, guess what, guys? When I was getting serious with Helen, and when I was planning to get married, I did four things. Number one, I bought books and top on that list was Steve Harvey's book Think Like a Man you guys know the book now so it was cool I mean I enjoyed it it opened up a whole new world for me to embrace and uh, it was pretty interesting the second thing I did was that I started listening to podcasts about marriage and subscribe to newsletters about marriage and relationships Trust me, if you've read my book, uh, the one I co-authored with my wife, you know that man, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff happened that I never planned for it. A lot of people broke my heart. Definitely, I broke some people's heart. And it got messy at some point. I almost lost Helen, you know. But so you can understand why I would go ahead to read a lot of stuff. And just to make myself do the right thing, you know. So that's the second thing. The third thing is that I started following those I knew who were not just happily married, but they were certified relationship counselors. I know of one, uh, Jennifer Mineni. She's the wife to one of my favorite poets, Bash Mineni. So 
I followed her post on Facebook, for instance, and I followed Steve Harvey and a couple of other guys. Hyde Sims is a nice guy too, godly too, and I followed and they really churn out a lot of stuff. And I have Sandy Walker with me, who's always like, uh, David, you're awesome. This is what I think marriage is all about. This is what I think relationships are all about. So guys, man, that's the third thing I did. The fourth thing is I asked my girlfriend, who's now my wife. I told her, babe, man, I think you need to read books. I, I you need to do a lot about just finding out what this relationship stuff is all about. Well, ironically, she was doing a whole lot, even more than myself. So she was reading, she was doing a lot of thinking and reflection. It was great to know that I'm related with someone who takes relationship seriously. So, if you have ever taken an exam, you will know that you prepared so well for it. What about relationships? I want to ask you, why did you pain you? Huh? You want to get married, you, you are dating a guy and you don't care to know what, I mean, let's say you are serious, you don't care to know what it means. You are joking, huh? You are joking and definitely you get married and your marriage crumbles because you did not bloody care to learn to understand some signs, for instance. You are not interested. So, take this shit serious. Actually, it's not shit. Take this marriage stuff, relationship stuff serious. Same way you took your exam serious. Where did it get to you anyway? If you took your exam serious, you know exactly where it got to you. Or if you didn't, you can joke with it, but marriage, I don't think it's, 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 it's an exam that ends in a day. It's a bloody exam that you write every bloody day of your life. So take it serious or allow others to. So, thanks for watching. Bye.